Hey folks, Bill Canolo here at the Windstar Golf Academy. Thanks for tuning in. Hey, in the last video I talked a little bit about the downswing and I spoke a little bit about slicing. Well, I had a guy write in and said, hey, can you help me? I'm a duck hooker. I duck hook the ball all the time. What do I do to fix it? So today I want to talk to you a little bit about what makes a golf ball curve. There's only two things you really need to think about that affect the golf ball. One is the path of the club and two is the face angle when the face hits the golf ball. So at first, I've got three lines here on the ground. One is the yellow line here is my target line where I'm actually aiming. And I've got these orange sticks. One's at like a four o'clock position for a right hander here. And the other one's at a two o'clock. So I could come in on a really good path, which would be this club's parallel to the four o'clock one, the inside path. This is an awesome path to come in on. However, if my club face is shut, which the duck hooker is, this ball, even though I come in on a great path, the ball's gonna go straight straight left. It's going to start left and it's going to hook even more. Because we found out through TrackMan technology that 85% of where the ball starts and the curvature of it is due to the club face, not the path. So I've got a tennis racket here for purpose, demonstration purposes so you guys can see on video a lot easier than a club face on a golf club. But if you take a tennis racket or racquetball racket at home and work on this, I think it'll really help you out. So just remember, we always want to keep this club face square to our body throughout the whole swing. So I'm going to grip it like a golf club here, and this club face is nice and square to me, straight up and down. Now as I go back, and I pivot my body like we talked about before, and then fold the arms up without any change in the wrist angle, that's going to keep the club face square to my body throughout the whole swing. From this angle, it'll look like this. I have a slight pivot, club face is still square. Fold and lift my arms, that's what a square club face looks like. For you duck hookers, you're this way probably. Club face is pointing to the sky. So you can have a really bad club face and a really awesome path coming in and you're still going to hit some big hooks. So work on keeping this thing nice and square throughout the whole swing. So when you come back around to the ball, that thing's looking right at the target, nice and square with the golf ball. Try that, I'm sure that'll straighten you out.